Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another plan with me. Today I'm going to be planning in my Skinny Classic Planner for the week of September 28th to October 4th. And I wanted to do, I wanted to use a sticker book I haven't used in a bit. And it's Squad Goals. I love any of the Squad sticker books. I think I've only used like the Boss, is it the Boss Babe stickers from here? But I really want to use the floral ones because these are so cute I love the floral ones so that is my plan for this week even though it's not like fallish feeling or anything that's totally okay for me I just wanted to use these again in this planner so I have a few of these sticker books I have the mini I have a classic and I have a little tiny sticker pad and then I have some washi this is from the squad goals collection and I might use one of these or I might pull some older washi I have from the Happy Planner. One of these will be used somehow in here. So I'm going to get some wax paper, which I've had a lot of questions about the wax paper, like where I buy it and yeah, I guess just questions about it. Um, so this is just regular wax paper that you find in the uh, like the aisle with aluminum foil and like the Ziploc bags. I, I get it at Target and it's just the Reynolds brand. It, that's about it. Honestly, this thing is like less than two bucks. It's 75 square feet. It lasts a long time. And that, yeah, that's the wax paper I use. So, like I said, I've, I've gotten a, a lot of questions about it. So I just wanted to show the box because I don't know if some people have been using parchment paper, but... I don't think parchment paper is probably a good idea. The wax paper is really good. And you can see through, so I like to use that. All right, so I'm gonna use this wax paper to pull some stickers and kind of get an idea of like what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I for sure wanna put, I think I wanna put a long box here. Actually, no, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna go through this little tiny one first and see what I can get from here. Um, ooh, that one's cute. Ooh, I'm ripping it. No. Okay, I ripped a little bit, but I think it should be okay. Let's see, maybe I could put it down here. Possibly. I do like that one. I like this box. That one's cute. This one's cute. Ooh, that one's cute too. This is why I like getting the little tiny sticker ones because they have a lot of good stickers in here. Oh, I like that one too. Oh man, I have a lot. Okay, I might use those. I actually like this box too. Hmm. Okay, I have a bunch of boxes that I'm definitely probably going to be using. Like I said, I like this one. So, just trying to figure out how I want to put these down. And then I do have some florals. I think in the mini, for whatever reason, I think the mini has the big ones. Oh, I don't have a lot though. <laughs> I already used, I already used the majority of them. So, that probably won't work. I kind of like this color scheme. The this like blue green with the pink peachy colors I think that's the color scheme I'm gonna go with I do have a long box I think I'm gonna use this long box and put this down first because actually I hope it fits actually on this side because this one's super long oh yeah it does yeah so I'm just gonna put this down oh gosh these are hard to put down. Let me stick it on here first. 
to get some of that sticky off. Okay. Okay. It's a little crooked, but I think that'll be okay. I have this one. I'm going to put these girls here. I'm going to actually see if I have like a decorative sticker that I can layer behind that one. Okay, so I guess I don't have a decorative sticker I can use. That's okay. I'm just going to put it down. Let's see right here. Cute. Okay, so I'm going to take this box right here. I think I'm going to cut it because it's just too big to fit in any of these boxes. And I think I want to add it in here. So I'm just going to cut it to make it fit. Okay, so I just layered that one there, and I really like that. I'm going to do something similar to this side. So I have this box right here that I can add over here, maybe in this section. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it, and I try to cut in between the lines, so that way I can kind of match it up. Okay, so I could put this one here. Okay, I think that looks good. I was thinking of actually covering up this though. Because I kind of like the one where it's the, both the girls. Let me see how this looks. To figure out something for there. Maybe I'll layer this top. Okay. I think I need to, I want to figure out some washi. And I actually kind of like this one. Let's see how this looks. Some like stripes. They're pink stripes. I never, I mean, I always use stripes, but I haven't used pink stripes. So I think this might. Yeah, I think this will work in this spread. So I'm going to put some here. Put some. Let's see, I'm going to put some up here. some in here to take this off first. Oops, I'm like ripping all the stickers. Okay, I'm going to put this back. Oops, oh my gosh, it's so crooked. Hmm. I'm thinking I should move this. 
just to cover up that notes. I don't know how I feel about that, but maybe I'll just white it out. Okay, so I have some like little headers and arrows. I really like the arrows. So I'm going to add some of these on the page. So I'm going to put a remember here. I'll probably put some bullet points down there too. And I have a to do. I might add something here. And don't forget. I do want to find an arrow. Actually, I'm going to put this, don't forget, here so I can put an arrow down up on top. Okay, so these are in the classic sticker book. So I'm, I have another one, and I don't think I've used any from here yet. So I can use these. This remember over here. Put to do there. I'll probably put a box here. So I need to look for a box. I thought I saw boxes. Okay, so I completely forgot I had this sticker book, the accessory book. And this one has boxes. So I'm going to go to these. Oh gosh, I probably used all the boxes that I want to use. Okay, I have, ooh, my washi's doing something weird. Okay, so I have this blue one that I can use over here. Hmm. Okay, now I want this to be pink. And I'm, I'm going to have to cover up those girls. Okay, so that's the only kind of issue. I have that one. I'm going to see how this one will work and maybe I can cover up the girls somehow. And I'm probably going to change this to a pink one. Okay, so I need to find something to cover up that girl. Okay, so I'm going to take this one off. It's not going to work on this page. I'll put this back. Let me try Let me try again this one. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. Okay, so that's kind of an option. Let's see. Where's this one? Ugh, I don't like that either. Uh, I don't know why they have to put girls on everything. Okay. It's going to stay like that because I have no idea what else to do. Okay, I'm going to grab some more headers. Another header. Okay, I want a pink one. Over here. Oh, no, over here. 
because I think I'm going to put like a girl or something on this side. I think that'd be cute. So let me try to find a girl that'll fit. That isn't already on the page. Oh, the one with the bike. I have a few different sizes. So I have that one. That one. Actually, I like that size. Cute, cute. Okay, I'm going to add some bullet points, which I'm going to get out of, I think the classic size has bullet points. Yeah, all of these type of bullet points. So I'm going to pull these and add them onto the days that I have like headers or an arrow. Okay, and I'm just going with the same color scheme, but I'm going to like alternate the colors. So if I have a pink header, I'm going to just do this color bullet point. And I don't know why I always like to just use the hearts first. That's just my preference. So I'm going to grab the hearts. Put this here. And then to have pink. Honestly, the weekend, I don't plan on doing anything because I will be out of town. Oops, wrong color. Uh, so I really don't need very many, much space to write. I sh I'll probably just be posting, but I don't, I have to have some, most of my filming done. So, yeah, that should be good. Oh, that's really cute, actually. I really like it. Okay, I think I want to add in some of these plants around the page because they're really cute. So I got this one. Let's see, where can I put this one? Um, actually, maybe not that one. I like this little potted one. That one's cute. Oh, I need something for here. Or I could just wipe it. Oh, maybe I'll put some flowers here. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe I should put this blue over here. Just so that way there's like blue on both sides. And then I'll put this small one right here. So it doesn't take up too much room and I can still use it to write. Cute. Okay. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to add some flowers right here. To cover that up. So I have a couple of paper ones. Oh my gosh, this sticker, I, I'm pulling it up too much. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of layer these to cover up that. i just put that there. Okay, so I think I am all set. I'm done. I really like how it turned out. So I'm going to put this pen back in my planner. Yeah, it's really cute. I mean, I love this color scheme. And of course, any of the squad girls are always going to look super adorable in a planner. Okay, so I know it's not like fall. It's It looks more springish, but honestly, this is like 
the weather I'm dealing with right now. So it kind of fits, at least for where I am. Uh, but yeah, that is my spread in my Skinny Classic Planner. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.